the, the, the bloom is off the rose here, as if there ever was a bloom on the rose or a rose itself, unless it was just a thorn. CBS uh, and the Redstones and Viacom, they're all in a nasty fight right now. That involves Harry Redstone, that involves Leslie Moonves, and the, really just involves a lot of bickering back and forth as to who should ultimately control this entertainment powerhouse. Charlie Gasparino has the very latest. Charlie, what's going on? Well, you know, Neil, I guess you could say this is the corporate version of a cage match, right? <laughs> MMA cage match. I mean, here, let's back up a little bit. Sherry Redstone controls national amusement, right? The Redstone family, some nerve Redstone used to control the, the aging and failing in, in health patriarch. Uh, that, that holding company controls two other companies, CBS and Viacom. Sherry wants to merge those together. Les Moonves, the CEO of CBS, has been resisting this because he thinks Viacom is an inferior, an inferior property, and he believes that Sherry is forcing him to basically overpay for that asset. So what's been going on? They've been at, they've been a stale, there's been a stalemate going on while they negotiate. Les has actually said to people, and we've reported this, fire me, because if you fire me, I walk out with a $180 million pay package, and guess what? Uh, I still think this is a bad deal. Sherry has not fired him, but here's what happened. This is fascinating, because what, what he's basically saying now with this lawsuit is not only should you fire me, but guess what? I have launched a public relations campaign against you to show that you're bad for shareholders of CBS. I have never, ever seen something like this where the tail actually wags the dog, where the CEO of a, works for a company and a holding company actually sues the boss. But because he has that $180 million pay package, golden parachute, whatever you want to call it, and by the way, there's a lot more in that thing. Apparently, he can make movies. He can do a lot of stuff. Uh, you know, he feels that he comes out a winner on this either way, and, he, and, and at bottom, he believes that taking Viacom at the price that Sherry wanted him to take it is bad for CBS shareholders. And that's why you see today that there's a, there's a lawsuit. Shares of CBS are going up because a lot of people are betting he won't have to take over Viacom. And shares of Viacom are going down because, guess what, they might not be bought by CBS. Uh, you know, this is, I, I thought it was round one before. This is round three now. Uh, in a cage match that, you know, has a lot more rounds left and it's going to be a lot of blood. This is fascinating stuff, Neil. Back to you. So now she's already, Charlie Redstone, that is, and that we just prepped that she's Sumner Redstone's daughter. She's right. already indicated that if Moonves uh, does anything more to get in the way of this deal, that if it were to happen, she'd get rid of him. And everyone on the board. Where is well, this going? Well, here's the thing. You know, I know a rival network uh, posited that. Um, I don't know if I really believe that. Um, and I she believe, couldn't do that anyway, right? Well, she might be able to do it. Um, there's a lot of stuff in Les Moonves' contract. There's stuff in the in the bylaws of, of uh, CBS, which um, I'm going to read after this because CBS does have a statement out describing why it's doing this. Viacom was still waiting for their statement. That make it difficult for her to remove him. The other thing is, and, I, and I'm telling you, this gives Les Moonves the hammer to fight back. If he gets blown out by her, I mean, theoretically, she could fire him. If he gets blown out by her, he walks away a tremendous hero. The stock is up. It's, it's doing a lot better than Viacom. CBS is, is a very profitable company. And Les Moonves walks out a really rich guy. So he's got tremendous leverage. She knows it, which is why she didn't fire him. And he's basically told people, let her fire me. Go ahead. I walk out a hero. My stock is up. I don't have to buy this crummy asset. I mean, Viacom used to be a really good company. As you know, it's fallen on hard times. Uh, MTV is not what it used to be right. and a few other things. And CBS is doing pretty well. And, you know, he looks like a hero either way and a rich man hero. So this and is fascinating. And, by the way, a free agent in that in the extreme case there. You're absolutely right. Free agent with, two, with 180, I mean, depending on how you read his contract, I mean, I've seen all these numbers. Anyway, anywhere from $150 million to $200 million is going to be deposited in his bank account the minute wow. you fire him. That's Gasparino, Joe. All right. <laughs> Buy a lot of lunches at San Pietro with oh, that. Oh, gee, a lot of pumpkin lattes. All right, thank you, my friend, very, very right. much.